Hello everyone, and welcome to Jimmy TV. In this video, I have compiled all of the biggest crashes from BMX Dirt, BMX Vert, and BMX Big Air. Without further ado, this is all of the biggest BMX crashes in X Games history. I hope you enjoy. So, in this one, I will be taking you through five of the biggest crashes in X Games BMX Dirt. So, first up is Kyle Bulldock, a rider that most BMX fans will be familiar with. He also competes in BMX Park as well as the Dirt events, and he is an X Games gold medal winner, and this is his crash from X Games Minneapolis 2018. Excuse me, he's had a gold, three golds before. He's looking to reclaim that. Here he goes. Baldock is bringing some real original moves right here. Oh, oh, ouch. Disappearing. Right side of the course. Wow. You never know what's happening when they fly off the course there. So Kyle Baldock, on the Gold Coast of Australia, scary moment that double tail right there was opposite that was definitely a huge move but you see his hand missed the grip and he could not command the bike into the sofi shark fin that right hand misses oh and bike just goes flying past him fortunately and he'll dirt on his shirt but he's still still smiling just a warrior right and next up, a BMX athlete that most of you may not be familiar with, Mr. Barry Nobles. He is still yet to win a medal at the X Games BMX Dirt events, but he has seen much success in BMX racing events as opposed to freestyle. This is his huge crash from Minneapolis 2019. He raced horses as a kid. He's done BMX. He loves himself some, some mountain biking as well. Whoa! Double flip out of the gates of the no! lower rotation. Double flip. He landed so low on the back wheel. Oh, man. It's, he's up on his... He's, he's getting up right now, which is a great sign. But, man, watch this replay. And you'll, you'll clearly see what goes wrong. He's looking. He's flipping. But at this point, he's wanting to look for the landing. By the time he sees it, he's like, oh, no, I'm too high. I'm too far. So he kept on rotating, he tried his best to lock the brakes, but he had to go right to his backside on that one. So next up is a Polish rider, known for going very big at BMX Dirt events. This is David Godziak. He's won gold here before, but of course, things don't always go to plan. This is his huge crash from X Games Minneapolis 2018. To take the lead away from Martin, he's greater than 93, watch out, here he comes! He has 720 front flip on the lead. Whoa. Into the cash roll and he survives it. All right, let's see how he does in this last jump. The shark fin clean. Double back flip. Double. Oh. Oh. Shorter this time around. Oh man, that was a really, really tough break right there. Shark fin and down below, just same issue. Even. Yeah, so he tried to stall. He was thinking about doing that exit, but he knew he did not have the speed. Look at how much closer he is. Oh. Front wheel. Oh. 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 And so, the penultimate rider I'm featuring in today's video is Andy Buckworth. It was really tough to choose between this and the next crash on which one should get the number one spot, and you'll see why. Andy has also won gold at the X Games before, but this time, well, it just wasn't his day. They got the buy, the hall pass, thanks to last year's results. Here goes Andy Buckworth, 29 years of age, out of Australia. Andy Buckworth started off with the no-handed double backflip. Tough start for Buckworth, too. He smacked it down. That was a really tough break because that trick he did over the first jump was huge. Double backflip, no hander. Yeah, his best dirt finish is 13th. And wow, he just tweaked that. <laughs> 
So yeah, that was a pretty nasty one. Luckily, he suffered no major injuries. And next up, the last crash, the number one spot, is Kevin Peraza. Now it's a rather different kind of crash from the last one, but just as gnarly. Kevin is an X Games gold medal winner in the dirt and park events, but here at X Games Minneapolis 2018, he had a pretty horrific crash flying off the edge of the course. Enjoy. Coming up next, gold medalist in dirt in Austin, in Austin Texas 2016. He's also got a gold in park. Here he goes. Oh, that was huge on that first set. A little bit more of the same. 360 downside tailwind. Oh, oh no! no! Kevin is out of bounds. Out the back, too. Oh, oh he went that under. Been dangerous. Oh, that was a tough break right there. Oh, yeah. This is where things started to go wrong. He over rotates a little bit, lands a little bit past the peak of that landing, and there's that 360 downside whip to inward can can. Oh, and he, you, know, you see the way he, he rolls his ankle a little bit, has to Whoa. bail out. Oh, man, that was way crazier than we yeah. saw the first time. Yeah, and there is. Wow, good wherewithal to get the hands out in front right there. BMX Vert, a legendary contest that's been held for the past 28 years and coming up on 29. Back in 1995, world superstars Matt Hoffman and Dave Mirror were the kings of the Vert Ramp, inventing new tricks, pushing the boundaries of BMX, and helping to evolve the sport into what it is today. Nowadays, we have a whole host of new talent, and the contest is still going strong. But, of course, like in any extreme sport, there are huge risks involved. In this video, I will take you through five of the biggest crashes in BMX Vert history. I hope you enjoy the carnage. And first up is Chad Kagey, hailing from Gilroy, California. This legend has had a long career in BMX and holds 4 X Games golds to his name and 15 medals total. He is famous for going huge in the big air events and would also regularly compete in BMX Vert. But at this contest in Dallas back in 2007, it just wasn't his day. Absolutely crazy. Down to 12 seconds on the clock here for Chad. Just under 10 as of right now. What else has this guy got in store? He's another one with some insane video game tricks. He too with the bar spin to late tail lip. Next up, Jamie Bestwick. Born in Nottingham, England, he is the most successful BMX vert rider of all time, holding 13 gold medals in the event. But, of course, things don't always go to plan. These 10 minute jams, guys have been averaging four runs, so he really needed that one. He needs two solid runs after this to drop that 14 out. Jamie coming out, swinging it. Oh my goodness. Looked like a double bar spin there, and he just lost the bars, couldn't get his, uh... And look who's first down the ramp to greet him, the guy that knocked himself out in the first heat, Simon Tabron. Simon and Jamie, good friends, both from the UK. Cheering there, he sat up. Here you go on the replay. Oh, look at he, oh, man, he grabbed that thing in toboggan, which means the bars are sideways. Yeah, he just grabbed him, grabbed him at the wrong point. Watch his hands. And it looked like maybe they went around one, 180 too much. He meant to grab them at the double point. See That's how many times they go around here. I tell you what. Oh, this, it looked like maybe he hit his foot. His tire may have hit his foot and stopped the rotation. So he grabbed him at. The third rider I'm featuring, Vince Byron. Not as prolific as Jamie, but still a gold medal winner nonetheless. Consistently performing well in BMX Vert and also BMX Big Air. But at the Summer X Games in 2016, he took this massive slam. Steve, take us to the replay of the crash. Watch his back wheel. He went 
to a bar spin to turn down, and he got locked up somewhere in his clothing or his t-shirt and couldn't unwind from that, and you just can't get your bike into the position it needs to. Nope. Watch his shirt right here. Something got hooked, his hand came off and clips his back wheel, and it just whips him to the flat bottom. He couldn't get his hands out in front of him, and uh, obviously a vicious crash. Every vert rider on the deck knows the risks. Here's Vince getting up on his own power after he got a thorough evaluation from a medical staff. Like I say, they all know the risk, and that's why the bird riders choose a full-face helmet. They know you cannot mess around with this thing. They go two stories in the air, and uh, accidents are going to happen. So, the penultimate crash I'm featuring in this video comes from the veteran, Dennis McCoy. He's been competing for well over 20 years now, and he's still up there with the best of them. But, at X Games Minneapolis in 2017, he took a very nasty slam when attempting a 900. Dennis has always been able to do that. He could be having the worst practice ever, but then all of a sudden the contest starts and he can throw down. So look at how he bottomed out there. Oh, the, the big speed. K can flare! Managing to salvage that part of the run there and keeps it going as he's just under 10 seconds. Here. Again, it's two 30 second runs. It's the best of those two runs that count. Check this Dennis out. Dennis is building up some speed. You there know what's is. coming. There it is! Oh! Coming around a bit rough on the end of the 900 there. Dennis is one of my heroes and one of the people I've looked up to my whole life. You know, even as when I was a kid, he was already a pro, and Dennis was one of the people that inspired me with so many different aspects of my riding. Dennis may not remember this moment coming off the flat bottom right now, but Dennis McCoy is my idol. I love that sign. That's a good idol to have, sir. And so, the biggest crash in BMX Vert history, again, comes from Chad Kagey. Back in 2005, two years earlier than the crash I featured at the beginning of the video. And just a quick warning, this one is brutal. Looks like Kagey's rolling in, he's got something else. Already got the flat five whip down in the book. Well, I've heard rumors for the last couple of days about him attempting a triple tail whip. That is gonna be absolute insanity. Look how high he is, Jimmy. He's going for something and big. Oh my God, he does a triple oh! tail whip. Oh, and he tried it over the channel and Chad, my goodness, just taking a hard, hard bounce off the flat bottom. He, he was over 10 feet on that triple attempt, and that's the key to the trick, is you've got to spin the bike. Yeah, not holding anything back at all. Watch this. Gets, and he had it. All three rotations. He was going to land a little bit low. Oh, my gosh. That is such a harsh impact. He's so high. He got the hardest part down, though. He got the bike around three times. And a quick honourable mention before we close off the video that didn't quite make it into my top 5, being Japanese rider Seiji Sato, who survived this heavy crash way back in 1998. That was from 11 feet high and he went endo. In this video, we will be looking at 10 of the biggest crashes in BMX Big Air history, the heaviest of slams from some very famous pros. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy the carnage. And we begin with Anthony Napolitan, who took a very heavy slam back in 2011. Here comes Anthony Napolitan. Nice! Uh oh, slip to the pedal though. Still recovered nice, and that invert. Oh. Took a good hit to the right side. You don't like to see that, especially this early in the competition. Uh, as a competitor, you'd like to get a run or two under your belt before you have to concern yourself with something like a potential injury. It was a great recovery. 
Double tail whip backflip. Two revolutions of the frame of the bike in the middle of a backflip. And oh, he oh, bumped he his back tire first. Bit. That's, that's got to oh, be scary. You're riding but, uh, down that with so much speed, and neither one of your feet are on the pedals. Props to him for going for it anyway, though. Look how inverted that was. His foot came off on the invert, and it may have been by design. Sometimes when you get something really tweaked, you're better off just removing the foot. But and he got that's the back of the head on this. Watch the helmet. Oh, yeah, that's... He was almost as high as that jib cam up there on that invert. Seeing it from that angle, that's not a very pleasant fall. Well, I, I have to give him credit again for riding out of that backflip double tail whip. Next up is Michael Larin. He's been competing at X Games for the past 10 years or so, and he's yet to win a medal in the Big Air event, but he has found success in other BMX events at the X Games, like racing and vert. Now this clip I'm about to show you was his huge slam at X Games Minneapolis back in 2017. Position right now, and the big story there, he's doing this with that injured shoulder. He is fighting through the pain, and it's still good enough for a bronze medal as of right now, Kevin. And I know he'd be happy with that bronze medal, but I know he also wants to step it up. Oh, perfect landing, solid. Big oh. triple counts. Oh! So taking the brunt of that right there on the lower transition of the quarter pipe. Triple downside whip. Just landed sitting in the back seat a little too much. Too much momentum going backward. One, two, three. Catches his pedals. Hey, please don't focus on him. Please. Next up is another veteran of the sport, Kevin Robinson. He's won multiple medals here at the X Games for BMX Dirt, Vert, and Big Air. He's a true legend of BMX, and this is his huge crash at X Games 2012. Chad Healthy and back in the lineup. 2012, two riders left to go in round at number three here. We've been throwing the Twitter feeds out and shout outs all weekend long. Check it out, Ricky Fowler from the PGA, my buddy K Rob BMX boosting on the Mega Ramp. Yes! Oh, it's a no handed plan. Oh, amazing, Kevin. Oh, goodness, Kevin. Not a, not a pretty sight. He was, it was a pretty sight until the landing, but drifting so hard on that one. That's two knocks to the head that he's taken. There's another shot of his wife, Robin. Obviously, Kevin shaken up by that. He's being evaluated by the medical staff. Especially when the head doctor is one of your best friends looking after you. Look how much he drifts across the ramp on wow. this. And that, that was a little over-rotated. Opposite flares are, are a, a tricky move. Chad Kagi. Now he is a veteran of X Games and was competing back at the very early events, back in the late 90s and early 2000s. He earned himself a reputation for going big at BMX Vert and Big Air, but of course, things don't always go to plan. Now for this one, we get a really cool POV shot of his crash. Enjoy. As soon as I took off, I knew I pulled away from the top. I had to finish most of my rotation and throw the bike. So yeah, we started off with a pretty heavy one. As you could probably hear there, he was screaming out that he broke his leg. And to be honest, he was lucky to get away with just that. Next up, an athlete who is much newer to the sport, James Foster. But he has already made quite a name for himself by winning gold in BMX Big Air. But of course, things don't always go to plan. 
Different trick that he's trying. Let's see if he comes back for the same. Oh, this time he's going for this a straight flip with. Looks like he wants to get run, one run in the bag. Bar spin to... Oh, gee. Man, James had to bail out on that one. It was just the same trick he was trying when he won his first gold medal in Minneapolis. He was going for the bar spin to downside triple tail it, but I'm not sure exactly what went wrong. I'm going to need to see a replay to be... Let's see what goes wrong. Here's the bar spin. That looks good. He catches the bike. First tail up looks good. Second tail up looks good. But the third one just got so away from him. And he almost got caught on the bike there on the way in. But he was able to get the bike away barely in that last second. And next up is Vince Byron, an athlete who is much newer to the sport, but has also seen much success winning gold medals at the X Games. Take us to the replay of the crash. Watch his back wheel. He went into a bar spin to turn down, and he got locked up somewhere in his clothing or his T-shirt and couldn't unwind from that, and you just can't get your bike into the position it needs to. Nope. Watch his shirt right here. Something got hooked. His hand came off and clips his back wheel, and it just whips him to the flat bottom. He couldn't get his hands out in front of him, and uh, obviously a vicious crash. Every vert rider on the deck knows the risks. Here's Vince getting up on his own power after he got a thorough evaluation from our medical staff. Like I say, they all know the risk. That's why the bird riders choose a full face helmet. They know you cannot mess around with this thing. They go two stories in the air and uh, accidents are going to happen. Kevin Robinson, a true veteran of the sport. This guy was competing back at the first ever X Games in 1995. Now, sadly, back in 2017, he suffered a stroke and unfortunately passed away. But his spirit lives on in the world of BMX. Add another one here tonight, or will we see somebody else standing on the tallest spot of the podium here at GoPro BMX Big Air? Well, we're going to find out more here soon. We're early in this competition still, but Chad put down a run that could win it. But these guys all have something to say about it. Kevin with a yeah. massive uh -oh, no easy. hand that flared it off. That was a pretty harsh. over rotating that one he carried so much speed off the flip when I mentioned before he'll take off from one side and travel laterally across the ramp on his backflip to uh, you know, maximize the amount of speed he can get because Kevin's known for, for going real big on big air that's exactly what he did on that no-handed flare There's some of the best medical staff in the business out here at the X Games of course X Games medical out there attending Kevin Robinson right now and here's what happened right before we went to break. Kevin Robinson over rotating a no handed flare. Yeah, there's no way around that. That was just a really harsh impact. It was so high, full extension. And when you over rotate, you know, and land that low, it's going to be an impact. And then you see him as he was being taken off the ramp by X Games Medical giving the thumbs up. Steve McCann. Now, like Kevin, he also competed at some of the early X Games events. He's been around for a while. Now this clip is his crash at BMX Big Air Brazil back in 2013. And he is the type of person that's going to be going for the win here. I mean, you, you could decide, like, maybe I'll do a run that'll bump me up from where I'm at now, but I expect him to send it. And here we go, it all comes down to this last run. Gets the hands up, and puts it down. Oh, oh no. no, I spoke too soon. It looked like he had it, and then... Again, the nature of big air. It's thrown off the bike on that one. I expect him to send it. And here we go, it all comes down to this last one. Gets the hands in, and it's a down end. I expect to send it. It looked like all right, so next up is another slightly newer rider, Colton Satterfield. He's also an X Games gold medal winner, and this was his massive crash in Minneapolis when attempting a double flare.
Yeah, so that was a pretty nasty one, but of course, we saved the best, or should I say worst, for last. Again, this is James Foster, and this is his huge crash at X Games Minneapolis. I actually uploaded this separately a few years ago, and guys, this is truly one of the worst crashes in X Games history. He'll be the final competitor to send it on down. What's it going to take here? It's going to take him landing this backflip triple tail whip. Okay. And he's also going to have to get redemption on that quarter pipe. I don't know what trick he's going to take. He's got two in his bag that can get him on the podium. Now. Ryan Williams has the lead with the 93.66. James Foster sends it. So far, so good into the quarter pipe. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. James. But that is a hard hit. So, of course, we saved the best till last. That was a monumental crash from James Foster. Luckily, he's now recovering very well. And so, that's the end of my BMX Mega Crash Compilation, and if you made it all the way to the end, then thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you've left a like on the video, and subscribe to my channel, because you really don't want to miss what's coming next. The worst BMX crash in X Games history. The story of James Foster. Stay tuned, and hopefully, I'll see you there. Take care, and have a great day.